Yeah, we did. We do quizzes. We still do quizzes weekly with our. Oh, so you're continuing that after lockdown? Yeah, we're continuing it. Um, That's nice. Yeah, uh, I do frequently give my grand and granny a phone as well. My phone and family is quite small, so you know most of like my family actually stays down the grand stays down the road from us, so you know we still see them, but just from a distance. You know, so I wasn't actually that bad affected with the family side of things and. I didn't want to kill them, so that was a plus. Yeah. We would just kind of phone, we'd FaceTime. Um, I'm actually, I'm staying in the farmhouse and my grand and papa stay in the bungalow next door. Um, and we'd kind of try and do a social distance walk with my grand and papa. I don't feel like they've been jeopardised really during lockdown. They've definitely been tested, you know, I've got a girlfriend um, and she's on the other side of the island and uh, her parents are the doctors, so that was tough. You know, I was like properly not allowed to see her before and after lockdown and restrictions, so that was definitely tough. I don't think they've been jeopardised. I don't with everything. I feel like it, it sh when lockdown was eased and you saw people, you actually got to see how they, how like, they actually miss you and all like, how like you are to them. It wasn't as great. Mainly work because I still had I still had my job because those are key workers. Uh, there's a 90 kilometer run around Arran. Um, I did it for Millen Cantor support. Um, it took me about 12 hours in total. Left off kind of seven kilometer, seven seven a.m. I raised over 2,500 pounds for Macmillan. Just kind of wanted to do it, um, just to do, get something out of lockdown. It's kind of the main reason to get a bit fitter on my running as well. Oh my goodness, I baked, I ate, I baked, I ate. I borrowed an e bike from Eco Savvy and cycled for miles and miles and miles and miles, and I loved it. My favourite place was Imica. I sat on the beach, I listened to music, I made myself lockdown playlists on Spotify, I watched. Um, Netflix, Grey's Anatomy with Daisy, loads and loads and loads. Uh, yeah, I started um, Sherlock. Oh, the That's BBC good. one? Uh, yeah, with Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah, yeah. Um, the Flash and DC Legends of Tomorrow. I watched, oh yeah, do you know what my favourite programme was? was um it's called the a word if you've seen the a word oh my god the music the storyline it's about a wee boy with autism and his whole family and it is just fantastic i think it's on iplayer watch it it is brilliant two series and we ju and it's like eight i think eight absolutely amazing i think everyone should watch it especially parents yeah. and teachers it's such a lovely thing i've ended up with a lockdown just reverting back to the same like the Simpsons is on Disney Plus, uh, and my wee boy is getting really into it, so we're just watching the same Simpsons episodes I've seen a million times, which my wife loves. Um, the Office, the American Office, which I'd already seen, sat and rewatched that recently, which is amazing. Uh, and I think during lockdown, I've watched the full of Rick and Morty all four seasons twice over, which I'd already seen it like two or three times. So yeah, just rewatching the same stuff, which is kind of like. Maybe it's just cause of lockdown, it's like a kind of comfort thing, just watching the same stuff that you already know and love. Well actually the one that got me through this week was Emily in Paris on Netflix. I'm watching it with a friend online, it's just really weird, this is my intera this is my interaction thing, it's just so funny. It's just trash TV. Correct? Yeah, it's trash TV, but it's kind of it made me not watch the news for a while because that's what I, I think I said to you Louis the other day in class, I've stopped watching the news because it's just so depressing. Especially the American election, but I actually rewatched in preparation for the next series coming out, um, um, The Crown on Netflix. So it's all about the royal family, but it's actually quite a good drama, quite saucy as well. I didn't have a lockdown that was television based because I absolutely made made sure I got into a routine where I got up in the morning as I normally would, set up my laptop and worked my hours. I had my lunch break and I stopped when I normally would and then it went into just dinner time, household chores and all the rest of it. I watched 250 episodes of The Big Bang Theory because you can watch that and do things at the same time and I've found it very difficult to get back to watching anything particularly serious or anything particularly 
thought-provoking since then. Uh, I finished Peaky Blinders, that's an amazing show. The next season's coming out in 2021, early. And yeah, I finished that, got invested in that quite heavily. I got back into the Grand Tours, so it was Grand Tours and all Top Gear. I mean, just very stuff I didn't have to concentrate hard on, I could just let it go. So. Lockdown, I'm afraid, didn't really change for me. I came into work um, each day. All that changed for me is that my two children also came to work with me every day instead of going to um, a different primary school or into, into nursery. Uh, they had to come to the hub each day. Um, as I did and came for some nice tours around, around the island. So however much I'd like to say that um, I watched any good t TV shows, um, I'm afraid lockdown has been probably the longest period that I've been at work every single day for now uh, 10 months, um, right through um, Easter and the summer. So I am looking very much forward to Christmas when I might see some of these good TV shows.